At this time, we'll call the meeting to order. Um, I need a motion to approve the April 4th, 2022 minutes. Do I have a motion? I make a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, motion passes. Okay, with that, we will close the meeting for public hearing to consider the following request. Request for two set for two 10-foot setback variances and one five-foot side setback variance for two proposed new lots located on Hidden Valley Road. Uh, the Pentecost request. So at this time, Mr. Chairman, if you would just ask if there are any public comments other than those associated with the application regarding this request. Do we have any other public comments? We do not. And I'll let the record show in the minutes that there were no public comments regarding this uh, uh, application request. Okay, and this time we'll reopen the BZA meeting to consider the request. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, we have Mr. Cody Pentecuff here today. Mr. Pentecuff is the owner of the property in question, which is located on Hidden Valley Road. Um, I have sent some exhibits in your agenda packet for your review. Um, they don't really show up very good on the big screen. They show up a little bit in your, uh, in your in your packets uh, they they showed up just fine when I when I received them but I think during the scanning process they lost some of their clarity but essentially <clears throat> what mr. Uh, what mr. Pentecuff is wanting to do is subdivide this property right down the middle have two half acre lots uh, which would be approximately 20,000 square feet uh, each in the R1 zone our minimum requirement is 10,000 square feet so that does meet all of our requirements uh, Mr. Pentecuff is requesting two 20 foot or two 10 foot front setback variances, which will essentially mean that he will build his home, these two, two homes, 20 feet from the front property line. And he is also requesting a 10 foot or a five foot side setback variance for the uh, it would, I guess it would be the southernmost lot, which if you're looking up there, it's the lot toward the bottom. And it would be to build his home 10 foot from the side property line next to what says undeveloped road up there. And so Mr. Pentecuff is here. Um, he has expressed to me that the reasons for the front setback request is due to the fact that he has a drain uh, that goes along the backside of his property and also a steep drop off which would make building uh, within the proper building envelope um, difficult, make it difficult on him. Uh, also, with regards to the side setback uh, variance, Mr. Pentecuff has tried to acquire some additional property to, so he wouldn't have to ask for a side setback variance, uh, but that has come up uh, unsuccessful so far. Um, I believe Mr. Pentecuff is still trying to go down this road, but we just still we just haven't made any progress as of yet. So he has he has tried to remedy uh, his situation, but like I said, so far has been unsuccessful. So Mr. Pentecuff is here, uh, and I'm sure that he would be happy to answer any questions regarding this okay. these variants. Do you guys have any questions at this time? What problems would it cause to do this? Yes, ma'am. So typically, uh, front setback variances are there for safety purposes. Right. They keep the, keep the houses right? and the structures off the road. Right. Um, so that could potentially be one, one thing. Um, but I will say this. Hidden Valley Road has a 60-foot right-of-way, which is larger than most of the other right-of-ways here in the city. Typically, a right-of-way is no, longer, no more than 50 feet. And so that, that is another challenge that Mr. Pentecuff has got to overcome. So Christian and I were kind of doing the math, and we, we believe that roadbed and ditch go about 18 feet from the center of the road, thus leaving 12 feet of property that is not what we would consider in, in harm's way, so to speak. So if we were to grant this uh, front setback variance, he would essentially be 32 feet from the ditch of the road. 
So just something to consider also. I mean, he, he's kind of got a, a few unfair advantages that most citizens, you know, would, don't have to uh, account for. So. So the side, side setback variances in most cases are, are there for two reasons. The one reason is to prevent the spread of any kind of fire because you don't want your buildings so close together. And then another is just simply to keep the buildings off of the property line so you don't encroach upon to your neighbor's property. Um, but again, with this undeveloped road, as of right now, there can be no structures built on that road, and so that, that kind of eliminates that first concern. Um, the city is the owner, in my, if I'm correct, of the undeveloped road, so they would be the only affected property owner in, with this variance request. I've got a copy of the aerial photography on that, and it appears the house is on the left before you get to Mr. Pennycuff's property are probably about the same distance as what you're asking for. Right. The closest, the closest property to the road, not necessarily to the right of way, is right at 44 foot from the road. And where, where I'm planning to build the first house, <coughs> it would put me at 39 foot away, so I'd be five foot closer to the road than the other houses. That was just easy, so I have to figure to make it, make it all the way. And, and let me let me clarify what he's saying. Thirty nine feet from the pavement. Yes. Does everybody understand that is not the right of way? Just just so we're all clear on on what he's saying. Do we have any other questions or anything? <clears throat> Do I have a motion to approve this variance? All in favor? Aye. All right, motion passes. I have a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. We have a second. So you're All right, now we are adjourned.